The City of Melbourne has always been a center for development in Brevard County. Our progress over the past year has been exemplary. Even in these challenging times with outstanding community programs, a business-friendly environment, growing tech sector, and two historic downtown areas. Melbourne continues to be an example of one of the best places to live, work, and play. In this annual report, we will highlight the ways that Melbourne has excelled in areas of physical sustainability, economic development, infrastructure, community support and outreach, and environmental conservation. So without further ado, let's get started and review what happened in the City of Melbourne in 2021. Despite many challenges this year, we have been able to maintain the necessary infrastructure and staffing to support existing levels of service to our citizens and customers. Melbourne's current physical condition remains stable because the city continues to be proactive in managing expenditures to stay within available resources. We have avoided the use of cash reserves to fund daily ongoing operational needs and have continued to evaluate and implement cost control measures to achieve expenditures, savings, and future years. The nationally recognized statistical rating organization, Fitch Ratings, gave the City of Melbourne the rating of AA with an A-stable financial outlook. After reviewing the city's financial information and its five-year capital plan, the city was also awarded a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting by the Government Finance Officers Association of the United States and Canada for the 33rd year. During 2021, Congress included a provision in the American Rescue Plan Act that provides the direct funding to municipalities to help address the pandemic's economic impacts, as well as the revenue replacement for losses incurred from fiscal year 2020 to 2024. The City of Melbourne will receive just over $14.2 million in ARPA funds to be used for eligible expenses and programs. Over the past year, our council and staff have worked tremendously hard to secure and maintain the city's financial stability and the recognition that we have received is validation for those efforts. We at the City of Melbourne are excited to see that the health of our economy is continually improving. Melbourne was ranked as one of the top 25 places to live by the U.S. News and World Report due to strong population growth and a job market that performed better than other areas during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Palm Bay, Melbourne, Titusville Metropolitan Statistical Area, known as MSA, was ranked second in the nation in the Milkins Institute's Best Performing Cities Index, which tracks where American jobs are created and sustained. Our place on that index shows that Melbourne has cohesive strategies in place allowing us to weather economic storms and leverage assets more effectively. Over the last year, Melbourne's economy has been in a constant state of improvement as substantial projects were completed. The Highline project, which was completed in 2020, brought in more than 21 million in tax revenue this past fiscal year. This summer, Hotel Melby opened downtown, offering a 156 room full service hotel with a rooftop lounge event space, and 170 spaces of structured parking. One tower of the two-tower Paramount condominium development on US-1 also opened, and the Melbourne Orlando International Airport is continuing to grow. In 2021, the airport welcomed new service from Allegiant Air and broke ground on a new Hyatt Place Hotel. A project to expand and renovate and modernize the terminal is well underway in preparation for the arrival of TUI Airlines in March 2022. The city worked hard to maintain our business-friendly environment, issuing 8,935 permits valued at $323 million during the 2020-2021 fiscal year. We also had a special workshop and developed materials to help developers and businesses get to know the U.S. Treasury Department's Opportunity Zone and potential sites within the city. Despite economic challenges on the national level, Melbourne has seen great growth with new businesses locating or expanding in our city. We are excited to facilitate new opportunities in 2022. Strengthening Melbourne's infrastructure like roads, stormwater systems has always been a top priority for the city. In 2021, 
we continued our investments into maintaining and improving existing infrastructure and adding new amenities citywide to improve service and public safety. The city worked with the Florida Department of Transportation to implement intelligent transportation system products along major corridors this year. The ITS system makes traffic move more efficiently by allowing staff to respond to changes in traffic flow due to accidents and construction. The project is also helping us prepare for future technologies. Sidewalks were constructed along Country Club Road, and the final phase of Babcock Street's reconstruction was completed this year. New landscape medians were installed on NASA Boulevard near the airport to enhance this section of the NASA corridor, commonly traveled by visitors and those conducting business within our city. The city and the Florida Department of Transportation made great progress in efforts to storm harden all the traffic signals in the city of Melbourne. Seven mass storm conversion projects were completed this year, and more are set to begin soon. The Pineapple Complete Streets project began in Ogalley and grant funding was received for an innovative storm water treatment project in downtown Melbourne. This project will transform existing landscape features into planted landscape boxes that can capture and clean polluted storm water and help alleviate standing water that remains in the curbs after a heavy rain. Projects like these will keep our roads safe, our storm water systems effective, and will continue to improve Melbourne's infrastructure. The City of Melbourne's first responders are an integral part of keeping our residents safe. The Melbourne Fire Department staffs eight fire stations strategically located throughout the city to provide critical advanced life support to residents in need. In 2021, the Fire Department focused on increasing capabilities in technical rescue, including trench rescue, rope rescue, vehicle machinery rescue, structural collapse, and confined space rescue. This enhanced training has helped ensure our first responders will have the technical skills necessary to help our residents in their time of need, no matter the situation. With the dedication of our police department, crime continues to trend downward for the fourth straight year. The city invested in 20 additional police vehicles this year so that more officers could be available on patrol. This included a specialized van to provide our crisis negotiation unit an independent workspace to communicate with subjects in distress. The department also implemented a new body-worn camera program to increase transparency, improve safety, and capture valuable evidence. For the first time, the Melbourne Police Department received re-accreditation from the Florida Commission for Accreditation. This was a momentous achievement, achieved through the hard work and dedication of many. The Police Community Relations Council continued to meet regularly and other outreach events were also held throughout the year, including new events like Slurpee with the Cop and Kids Fishing Camp. Our first responders work hard to safeguard our city each and every day. Our city will continue to invest in the training equipment and technology needed to keep our community safe and improve the quality of life for all of Melbourne's residents. The City of Melbourne is a community made up of diverse people and we take pride in putting programs in place to help our residents who find themselves in need on May 4th, the City Council held a special workshop meeting to set goals and strategies in addressing panhandling and homelessness issues in the City of Melbourne. As a result of that meeting, a Community Affairs Liaison was hired to coordinate efforts among the City's departments, nonprofits, businesses and residents in an effort to reduce homelessness and to address other community issues. Council approved a conceptual plan to make changes to City Code 
that will help reduce costs and provide additional incentives to encourage more affordable housing development in the City of Melbourne. Council also approved a new ordinance to improve driver and pedestrian safety within intersections by limiting physical contact and the exchange of items between pedestrians and vehicles. The City helped facilitate the development of Heritage Park, a 108-unit affordable housing development with supportive services and amenities and two assistance programs using CARES Act funds that help people in their homes by helping with rental, mortgage and utility payments and with emergency repair assistance. In February, the City's own employees donated a total of 613 pounds of food during a winter food drive for the South Brevard Sharing Center. Helping our community is paramount and the City of Melbourne will always be there to offer a hand up to our residents in need. There's always something going on in the City of Melbourne, from community events to park improvements. There's always something happening. Many events are held throughout the year, including return of the 4th of July fireworks celebration, summer camp, and the drive boo Halloween event. Major improvements began at Mallard Landing Golf Course this year. In the fall, work to replace the irrigation system began, and work to replace the greens is expected to begin in 2022. Staff made improvements to other parks and recreation facilities, including installing the new playground at Fee Avenue Park, replacing flooring in our community centers, maintaining ball fields, planting trees, improving landscaping, relining pools, and offering a wide variety of athletic programs. The Melbourne Salutes Hometown Heroes Banners program was launched to honor City of Melbourne residents or their immediate family members who are actively serving U.S. Armed Forces or veterans or were killed in the line of duty. From May 1st to July 4th, displayed street poles, banners along New Haven Avenue in downtown Melbourne, each featuring a different veteran's name, photo, branch of service, and the year served. Be sure to keep an eye out for all the improvements happening across our parks and facilities and the great events coming in 2022. The Indian River Lagoon is a precious resource. Steps taken today to keep it and our city clean will help allow Melbourne to remain beautiful for years to come. In the past year, the City of Melbourne has coordinated 37 active Adopt-A-Road teams with 453 volunteers cleaning up 6,690 pounds of litter. Our street sweeper removed 1.5 million pounds of trash and debris from 500 miles of roadways that would have gone into the Indian River Lagoon. And twice a year, temporary dumpsters are made available to residents for the disposal of large items such as damaged fencing and pressure-treated wood, furniture and old tires to prevent dumping along the side of the roadways. The city also kept up its efforts to construct treatment features that will help keep trash and harmful pollutants out of the Indian River Lagoon. Baffle boxes were installed at Thrush Drive and as part of the Sherwood Water Quality Project that also included two ponds and two rain gardens. By installing these features, the city helps remove pollutants from the Indian River Lagoon and its tributaries. As you can see, the City of Melbourne has accomplished a great deal over the past year. And that's all due to the exceptional dedication of my fellow council members, city employees, our business community, and our residents. I'm excited about the year to come and look forward to seeing what we can accomplish together in 2022.